be smashing if it were true, wouldn't it? 18 minutes past seven. Our next guest, or guests, depending on how you look at it, was shot to fame for imitating the famous. At just 24, I'm told, he's a master of mimicry, celebrities, politicians, royalty, sportsmen. None escape his wit and often wicked observations. He is, of course, the multi-talented, much-in-demand impersonator, the man who's now being sick behind the city, <laughs> Rory Bremner. Hello. But before we meet him... Let's listen to the man in action with his current hit single, and isn't it doing well? No, 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 19, not out. I'm not sure what was going on. Was it really? No, 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 19, 19. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> and fancy camera work there. <laughs> well done, TVM crew. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and uh, it must be a great day for you today, because it's the start of the test match. Yes, indeed. Uh, the third test match, in fact, at... Uh, Trent Bridge. Interestingly enough, no tests at Trent Bridge last year, but um, what an interesting series this is proving to be. <laughs> I'll preview it later on, because I don't want to spend 20 minutes now, but um, <laughs> it could be quite an intriguing match, I think, Anne. Oh, fine, well, yes, cricket. You know how I like to talk can't cricket. Tell I you know, how brilliant it is. Know who you yeah. uh, he can't tell me how brilliant it is. I'm sure it is it brilliant. Is. She... Your mum must be ever so <laughs> proud of you. She's quite proud. She was up in Edinburgh last week, actually, because I, I live in, used to live in Edinburgh anyway. Doesn't she still live in Edinburgh? She does still, that's right. Yeah. And I was up there last week for the variety performance, and she was sort of sitting in the audience thinking, she can't believe it, actually. Oh, was, that, was that on the BBC? Um, it was I don't on know, that, some that other channel. channel. I can't remember. Yes. I, don't know. I can't remember How's it I watched doing it now? <laughs> <laughs> the record. No. Uh, the record. I was uh, thinking or... how the BBC doing, but I know the record's oh. doing very well. <laughs> yes, the record's doing. It's done very well. It's eight in the network charts. Yeah, I don't know. Great. It's a surprise. I don't know. It's taken me completely by surprise because I did it, just did it as a joke. It's sort of ruining my image. The problem now will be doing a follow-up, won't it? Yes, it's amazing because uh, as soon as you make a record, the record company comes along and says, um, "Right, sit down here now. Um, you've got this record. It's, it's doing very well. What's the follow-up called?" I haven't even thought about that. I mean, twenty. You know, a follow-up something to do with cricket, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> yeah, Nick. Uh, there you are. Quit again. Um, <laughs> as Nick would know, in fact, follow-up. Uh, Follow on, which oh, be uh, the more technical term. I have to follow the cameras here because Richie never lo never looks at anyone except for the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, um, I, uh, there are ideas for a follow up, but at the moment I'm keen to just get back to cabaret and uh, various sort of shows and appearances like that rather than a record. Stop laughing, Nick. <laughs> you, can, you can tell stardom has got to you already because of the right. colour of your trousers. Yes, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know, I don't want to be too famous. I can't afford the golf lessons. Ah, exactly. <laughs> 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 yes, very nice. So, yeah. what uh, um, the royal. The Royal Gala. The Royal Rala. Yes, whatever it was Royal on Gala, the other channel. Trainers. I'm enjoying a marvellous breakfast at home, actually. <laughs> um, I've seen breakfast as always, you know. Um, Royal jelly, uh, loyal toast, and a um, nice little, <laughs> loyal little um, egg to dip my soldiers into. Uh, makes a dreadful mess of their uniforms. <laughs> No, it's quite intimidating, actually. There was a lot Because if you're performing and actually she is there up in the box and you think, well, you have to edit a certain amount of your material. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were sort of various things about... Uh, I wanted to start off by saying... <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <coughs> she's right, she isn't watching, watching this time. Majesty, she turns on a bit later, I think. Oh, she, oh well. Okay, I'll tell 9.26. You want me to carry on? Yeah, what was the unedited <laughs> version, then? I <laughs> know, oh, I was going to start off and say... Uh, say um, Actually, I've had that ruddy polo pony up to here. <laughs> it's, done, it's done so much to bring down the monarchy. I'm thinking of changing its name to Willie Hamilton. <laughs> but Willie Hamilton being Scottish, they thought, well, you know, maybe I'd steer clear from that area. Well, I know you shared a dressing room, didn't you, with Tom O'Connor? Oh, uh, you can imagine what it's like sharing a dressing room with Tom O'Connor. Who is it? Tom O'Connor, Frank Carson and Rolf Harris. And all the, Actually, Rolf Harris is a really nice guy. He was sitting in the corner with this piece of hardboard, which I said, didgeridoo or whatever, written across it. And he was going, oh, hey, oh, hey. We're getting ready for his act. And by about two o'clock in the morning, there was a reception afterwards, and he started singing Scottish songs, which was really bizarre. So he was standing there, oh, hey, oh, over the hill, said far away, go down the line, let's get to the home. Oh, no, it's a real culture. Oh, shock. you must give us some more behind-the-scenes gossip <coughs> in a few minutes. Right now, we're going to take a break.